Hello there, it is Grace and I am here to discuss another topic about aging gracefully. High blood pressure, AKA the silent killer. Think about that. High blood pressure has been coined as the silent killer. That is because high blood pressure does not come with any warnings. If you do not learn how to track this, other than when you're in the doctor's office, it is very possible you will show up and get the warning that you're either borderline of high blood pressure or you actually have high blood pressure. So I am going to discuss, and I have some assistance, ways that you can track and measure your high blood pressure at home and some of the things that you need to consider as you are wanting to control this very important aspect of your medical history. So let's go to my assistant and learn about how to monitor high blood pressure at home. Okay, let's have a real talk about blood pressure. Do you monitor yours regularly? It's something everyone with high blood pressure should do, but it's something most people don't know how to do correctly. Checking your blood pressure regularly will help let you know if you have it under control. It will also help you start to understand which factors are putting you at higher risk for stroke and heart attack. Before I get to that though, I just want to stress one thing. If you have high blood pressure, you should talk to your doctor to figure out how frequently you should be checking it at home. For most people, taking your blood pressure twice in the morning and twice in the evening, even just for a week, will help you and your doctor get a better understanding of your blood pressure. For morning readings, it's best to take those before you take your blood pressure medication. It's also very important to avoid exercise, caffeine, or tobacco at least 30 minutes prior to testing since those can affect your levels. Now, let's move on to talk about the proper way to measure your blood pressure at home. Nearly half adults in the U.S. have high blood pressure and are at high risk for stroke and heart attack. So self-measuring is one of the easiest ways to be proactive about our health. Here I have my blood pressure monitoring device. It's easy to use and it helps me get an accurate reading. Be sure to get an automated device with an upper arm cut. That's the type doctor is recommending. The first thing you want to do is find a quiet place to sit with your back to this upright, stable position. A dining room chair is great. You want to make sure the chair isn't too soft so your body is fully supported. Sit with your feet flat on the floor and don't cross your legs or ankles. If you need to use the bathroom, make sure you go before you do your reading. Next, rest your arm on a flat surface with your palm facing up. Place the blood pressure cuff on your bare upper arm just above your elbow. Your arm should be relaxed and resting so the cuff is at the same height as your heart. Now rest quietly for five minutes before taking your first measurement. Avoid talking while taking your blood pressure measurement. Once your first measurement is completed, write down the blood pressure numbers and pulse that are displayed on the device. Wait one minute and then repeat this process again. As you just saw, it's important to check your two measurements at around the same time each morning and evening. At your next doctor's visit, be sure to share your blood pressure numbers so you can discuss the numbers and so your care plan can be changed if necessary. That's it. Not bad, right? Measuring your blood pressure at home is easy to do and a great way to stay on top of your health. If you have more questions about managing or measuring your blood pressure overall, visit the website. And there you have it. Those are the steps to monitor your blood pressure at home. My position is that I want to be proactive. I don't want to necessarily get the message from the doctor that I have high blood pressure. So I strongly recommend adopting um, some form or time throughout your week that you can get on a schedule to start tracking your numbers before you uh, get the notification from your doctor. So that takes a little effort. You have to um, want to be proactive um, in knowing what your blood pressure numbers are 
and also too that as demonstrated here um, in the video it shows you the proper way to actually set it up and monitor at home that is the focus here with this particular video is to get people comfortable enough to see that you can track this at home um, one of the questions that i get when i'm talking to people they want to know um, how often they should measure their blood pressure and again i think that that is one of those things that just, uh, you need to talk to your doctor about uh, do your research and find out what works best for you i check mine at least twice a week um, this is something that i have done for a while so it's more of a um, a lifestyle thing for me i check it twice a week another thing that's very important to me uh, when i'm doing my blood pressure uh, monitoring is that i make sure that i focus on positive thoughts when I'm getting my, when I'm doing my reading at home, I really don't know if it makes a difference or not, but I just make sure that my background is in a calm state, that my mindset and everything is at a calm, comfort level um, so that I can get the best reading as, pos as possible. So that is something that I personally incorporate in. Something that uh, was mentioned, you need to track and keep a log of your readings so that way you'll be able to have something to take to the doctor to show him that you are actively involved with your health care. Uh, one of the things that happens when you go to the doctor's office, it has been stated that people can have the white coat syndrome, that when they get into the doctor's office, the numbers are higher. Um, if you're tracking your numbers at home in a comfortable environment and you're able to show this, you could actually challenge the readings that you're getting at the doctor's office. If your numbers are only high when you're at the doctor's office, but they are normal or within range otherwise, then that is something that you can definitely have a conversation with. Something that um, was not discussed in the video is that you do want to focus on your top number and studies are beginning to change this a little bit, but the most recent study showed that you want the number um, at 120 or lower and that bottom number you want it at 80 or lower. And again, you can talk to your doctor um, to make sure that that is uh, accurate for you because if you're on medications, that may adjust what your requirements are. But for people who are not on medicines right now to control their blood pressure, the goal is 120 over 80. Um, I have been hearing that there are some discussions about changing that number to 115 over 75. I have not seen the majority of my research leaning toward those numbers just yet. Um, another thing that um, you need to focus on is making sure that when you are going in to see your doctor, that you know what questions you need to ask your doctor as far as um, what is causing you to have high blood pressure, what things do you need to be monitoring, to find out what your option, options are for changing and find out if medicine is recommended to you right away, um, what your options are to possibly get it under control on your own. So that pretty much wraps it up. We have um, discussed how you should monitor your um, high blood pressure, or I'm sorry, monitor your blood pressure at home. The correct procedure we discussed um, having the conversation with your doctor. Um, also, um, finding out how often you should track your uh, readings, how often you should take them. The next time I am going to go over what are some of the questions you could actually ask your doctor when you all are focusing on getting your uh, blood pressure 
under control or options for not being on the meds. So I hope this has helped. If you want to know more, feel free to go to the website that's displayed here, manageyourbp.org. I look forward to connecting with you soon. In the meantime, live your truth and protect your peace.